magma is sitting under Yellowstone supervolcano. Researchers find a new way to estimate. Researchers from Washington State University and the University of Idaho have found new ways to estimate how fast magma is recharging beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano. While their findings offer no help in predicting if the volcano will erupt, they can now get a better understanding of a key factor, a pool of basalt magma recharging the system, and how it works. It's the coal in the furnace that's heating things up, said Peter Larson, professor at Washington State University School of the Environment. He says, it's heating up the boiler. The boiler is what explodes, and this tells us what is heating the boiler. Now we know concerning the super eruptions of Yellowstone, which sits at the northwest corner of Wyoming in the United States, some 640,000 years passed since the volcano's last major eruption, a super eruption, and it can be super, having produced one of the largest known blasts on Earth and spewing more than 2,000 times as much as Mount St. Helens did in 1980. And by the way, Yellowstone is the second largest supervolcano on the Earth. A major element in the volcano's power is the explosive, the explosive silica-rich rhyolite that breaks through the Earth's crust during the eruption. Larson and his colleagues focused on the plume of basalt magma heating the rhyolite from below. He said, this gives us an idea of how much magma is recharging the volcano every single year. His findings appear in the latest issues of journal Geosphere. Now, while with the funding from the National Science Foundation, the researchers spiked several hot springs in Yellowstone National Park with deuterium, a stable hydrogen isotope. They just threw it in there. Now, the researchers used the length of time needed for the deuterium concentrations to return to the background levels and the temperature of the hot springs to calculate the amount of water and heat flowing out of the springs. Using deuterium for estimating heat flow is safe for the environment and has no visual impact to distract from the park visitors' experience. The team found that previous studies underestimated the amount of water cursing through the springs and the amount of heat leaving the springs. The data also allowed the team to estimate the amount of magma entering the supervolcano from the mantle. The study also has implications for geothermal energy, helping inform how heat is transported to the Earth's surface from molten rock. But this, of course, has not been included in this article. The uh, data uh, estimate the estimate of the amount of magma entering the supervolcano, or the amount of water coursing through the springs, and the amount of heat leaving the springs. This has not been put in the article, but they have been using telling us that they use deuterium to estimate all these things. This is from phys.org by University of Washington. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.